Marcus and Jones has taken an opportunity to close in on the real estate with Gilman. So, Gilman being very gingerly working his way through the sandwich of back markers, and that gives Jones a chance to close right up on him. And of course, Gilman will not forget what happened to him in Hungary when he crashed out of race number one. So Gilman now has worked his way around. Giuseppe Cabrini, and now he heads off and wants to fight his way through, and he gets through Mike Zamparelli. Gilman showing a little bit of tenacity there, and Gumption, he pushed his way past Mike Zamparelli as we take a look at Philippe Desertin, the French driver, who is probably the most improved driver here in 1997, sitting off in fifth position. And now we've got the yellow flag coming out. There's a problem down into turn number one. A problem down in the first turn, and we're going to slow this field down. As you take a look at the Frenchman Desertin, we quickly go back. And there's a driver who's barrel rolled down into turn number one, the short shoot. And the driver has popped out out of the boat. And we're waiting to positively ID it. There you can see the Osprey rescue team quickly coming out, wanting to turn the boat over, at least try to get it out of harm's way as quickly as possible. So here on lap number five of 55, there you see the boat over. It looks like it could be one of the MM power machines. That's the German team out of Kirpen. So it could be Anton Van Heerden. We're waiting to get a, a positive ID on that. It is definitely a MM power boat. And upside down he sits. So the Ospreys came over very quickly, and it is Van Heerden. So Anton Van Heerden for the second straight year in a row, there you see number four, has had an accident here in Gallipoli. He told me he had nightmares for a very long time after that last race uh, in Gallipoli a year ago. It took him months to get over it, and look what happens today. He has another accident almost in the same spot as they help out the 47-year-old and get him back into the boat. They quickly want to move him back and away, and the Osprey rescue team, who are such professionals, for many years this team out of Great Britain has fine-tuned the rescue craft and their procedures to get the driver as quickly out of the boat and at the same time not injure him as they take him out of the boat and at the same time rush him quickly back to the medical complex. They've got two ambulances here, a multitude of drivers, uh, or a multitude of doctors here to help the drivers in case there's any dire need of trying to get medical attention in a hurry, as well as the Ospreys. They also have a doctor on board. So they will work with the South African driver, Anton Van Heerden, driving for the German MM Power Team. So the native out of Spring, South Africa, who had qualified the best he had all season long in seventh position, being quickly escorted over to the other side of the race course, where the medical facilities are right in front of him, and they'll be able to take uh, as best possible condition of him at this time. So Anton Van Heerden's boat has gone over for the second time in two years as we look at Fabrizio Boca, the driver out of Italy who is sitting back right now, mired in 15th spot. He's trying to move up. And for Boca, he was one of the three drivers we talked about from Italy who needed to win today in order for them not to slip away the world championship for 1995. So as the Ospreys come in, you can see crews from other boat uh, teams looking over the concern on everybody's faces, hoping...
da ta poste sudu ja bila ne